Over 200 years have passed since the historic groundbreaking of the Warp 5 Research and Development Facility on Earth. It was there where the legendary Zephram Cochran gave his commemorative speech, a speech which ignited the vision of multiple generations. Imagine it, he said, thousands of inhabited planets at our fingertips, and we'll be able to explore those strange new worlds and seek out new life and new civilizations. Go boldly where no man has gone before. Today, when much of the Federation finds itself recovering from internal strife and external conflict, there are those who still embody the rugged individualism of the early explorers. There are those who still understand the founding purposes and strive to fulfill the vision of Starfleet. There are those who are still out there forging a new frontier. Game. You know, you're the worst chess player that I've ever met. I'm surprised you ever made it through tactical training. Never underestimate the power of cheating. You should try it sometime. Oh, I don't need to. Not with such feeble competition, anyway. <sighs> yeah, well, at least I'm a graceful loser. No, you're not. That reminds me. Did you ever find that rook? Um, <clears throat> never mind. You know, there's a special kind of hell for people like you. <laughs> Talking of which, how are things in your neck of the woods? You know, the Patch. Tholians, Grey, the Syndicate, the Commodore. Like I said, special kind of hell. Well, it's better than babysitting colonists. Okay, you got me there. I, uh... Don't suppose you have a vacancy for a good first officer. Oh, sorry. That job's already taken. Besides, I hear you're not that good. That's not funny. From where I'm sitting, that's very funny. Keto Hunter, sorry to interrupt, Commander, but you're needed on the bridge. On my way. Thanks for the game, Elizabeth. Anytime. Shall be out. Let the transports land! Lieutenant Sakaris is just doing his job. You'll get your transports down once the area's secured. Secured? From what? Hostile flora? Starfleet regulation. I have no place here. This is a civilian operation. The sooner you people realize that and just get out of our way, the better. Civilian operation or not, system defense is still our responsibility. Right, we'll see about that. Please tell me you're done. We are. Give me a form the captain. The landing's order secure. Good work. I'm sure Dr. Gavin will be grateful. Call to Talath. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Everything's ready at this end. Cleared for your approach, ma'am. Acknowledged. ETA, three minutes twenty. Hope you put coffee on. Boiling up a part of the real stuff as we speak, Captain. I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Don't forget the cream. Oh, good morning, Commander. Here's the engineering status report. Thank you. The starboard ventilator is still acting up. I'd heard. How was your game? Fine. You lost again, didn't you? <sighs> you did. Let me tell me about your game. Have you ever tried? What does your next crew evaluation do? What's Styles doing at the helm? She lost a bit. A bit? It was a long voyage. <sighs> the captain's transport's entering the ionosphere. ETA is three minutes. Remind me again why we're not just beaming the supplies down. Because, Commander, there is nothing quite like a little seat of the pants flying. You could just book some shuttle time, ma'am. Is a world of difference between pushing buttons and flying, Mr. Hunter. I would not expect you to know that difference. 
You sound like you're having fun, Captain. Damn straight. It was like a wild lift door. She took the next one down. Then you can see for yourself. I like that. And those of us who can appreciate the experience may as well enjoy it. Whatever you say, ma'am. Yeah, you see it my way, Commander. Maybe when this mission is over, I won't fire you after all. I'd appreciate that. I thought you might. Captain, is your attitude a little steep? Hold on. There's a problem with the guidance systems. Can you abort? Negative. The helm is responding. Thrusters have locked up. I'm going to try and- What happened? Looks like the comm system's down. What's the heading? Still accelerating towards the colony. At current rate, the Lampang domain settlement in 63 seconds. Any chance they can pull up? Yeah, it's possible. But they'd have to restore at least partial guidance within 50 seconds. Could have been the crew out. I can't establish your transport lock. Well, why not? It's an old ship. The hostile ionized from re-entry. Keep trying. Tractors! Not at this range. 40 seconds to impact. Then get us closer. Kay. I can't give you transporters. I'm sorry. The lock torpedoes. Commander! If that transport hits the colony, torpedoes now. Aye, sir. Torpedoes locked. Stand by. Ensign. We're in tractor range, but I don't know if this will work. It'll work. Reel them in, Mr. Stiles. Engaging tractors. Steering force has exceeded. We've lost the beam. Re-establish. I'm trying. Tie in warp power and redline the emitters. Got it. Re-establishing lock. Momentum. Shearing forces exceeded again. Fifteen seconds. Fire torpedoes. Karen Ford is our future, our destiny. It's time we took control of that destiny and its defense. That would be premature. Why? You don't think we can handle it? Starfleet won't always be here. We wouldn't want to be overly reliant. The sooner we can protect ourselves, the better. But surely the mission service should be concentrating on its primary duties for now? The colony won't build itself. Do I detect a hint of conceit, Commodore? The Merton service may not have the spit and polish of Starfleet, but we can still teach you a few tricks. Yeah, I'll give you a call next time I need some tricks. <clears throat> I don't doubt that. Oh, I think you do. Then you should think again. I don't need to. How many times did Starfleet try and tell us the sector wasn't safe for us feeble civilians? You never wanted us out here. You wouldn't be out here without us. Only because we forced your hand. Tell me, Commander, what are you afraid we'll find? Rick, you're not helping. Fine. Gentlemen, please. This is an argument for another time. 
I appreciate Starfleet's efforts on our behalf, but my decision is made. The Merchant Service will assume control of systems defence as of 800 hours tomorrow. Finny out. Well, that could have gone better. You think? We are on the same side, you know. You might want to tell them that. I won't need to. <sighs> oh no. This isn't my problem. Don't be so sure. Aaron, I don't really think that Intrepid needs a captain. Promotion by assassination. I'm not a Klingon. You did what you had to. Perhaps. But that doesn't mean I was right. Right and wrong, the only choices that matter are the ones you can live with. What happened was tragic, but you did save 150 lives. Like it or not, you can live with it. I hope you're right. Always. Rank has its privileges after all. Fine. I'll think about it. That's all I ask. Go ahead. Sorry to bother you, Commander, but we've completed our scans of the asteroid. Very well. Bring us about and set a course for the next one. Aye, sir. Bridge out. <sighs> you got nothing better to drink? Ah, just the man I wanted to see. What's this? Ah, a couple of things I thought the merchant served might be able to help us out with. And you're giving this to me because? Well, I did try giving it to your brother, but he told me to shove it up my... I get the idea. So you've talked to him then, yes? No, I don't think so. Why not? There's about as much chance of getting help from my brother as there is a gym coat walking through that door dressed as Elvis. Elvis who? Oh, never mind. Just trust me, okay? Rick won't help us. Just what is his problem anyway? He doesn't like Starfleet much. I get that, I just don't understand why. He blames Starfleet for our father's death. Your father's in Starfleet? No. He worked for a crime lord on Farius Prime. So what does Starfleet have to do with his death then? He used to leak information to Starfleet. Until his employer found out, yes. Yes, and Rick blames Starfleet for not protecting him. And you don't? No, I did. Part of me still does. And yet you still joined Starfleet? There was a war on. I wanted to help. How did Rick take that? Badly. You still haven't talked much since. The war's over. You stayed on. Where else will I go? Besides, I like what I do. I do stay. Much the same, I guess. Lucky you were gone. Didn't have a hell of a lot to go home to. Uh, we're a pretty sorry pair, aren't we? I suppose we are. So, we ask quick? No, I don't think so. Look on the bright side. I'm sure we'll survive without the sodium brandy. Try telling that to Prentice. Best get going. Do you on the bridge? <clears throat> Are you going to do any work today? Probably not. Besides, it only takes one of us to complete the surveys. And it might as well be the artistically challenged one. Doesn't it bother you at all? What? Starfleet. Why should it? Besides, did you see the look in Prentice's face? You're too easy to please. What do we take for the simple pleasures? You got something? Yeah, something odd. Some kind of artificial power source. One of ours? It's one of ours. You think I'd be... <laughs> when are you going to get rid of that piece of junk? If there are a piece of junk, then Starfleet cast us. What would you call that? That's just for sure it is. These Starfleet surplus are liable. You're saying? Married to Ariadne. Ariadne, respond. Mine too. Let's get back to settlement. You could ask Kevs. I don't need any help. You've been working on it for weeks. 
It's a dead language and an obscure dialect. How long do you think it should take? Didn't you say you wrote the book in this dialect? I said Drow wrote the book, and I'm still not asking Sakaris. Not asking me what? Kate's trying to translate some Debrun tablet she found in a Keras 5. I was unaware you had an interest in such things. My first host was an archaeologist. I still like to dabble. I figured you could help her out. Do you speak Latin, Lieutenant? No. Then why do you assume that I am conversant in a dead Romulan language? Told you. Ships approaching from the colony. I'm not familiar with the configuration. Checking. It doesn't match anything in the database. Try hailing them. No response. I believe they're trying to evade us. Yellow alert. All of insect course and engage. Could the colonists have an unregistered trip? Possible, but unlikely. The ship's technology appears organic. Then who? They're opening fire! Red alert. Tell them to stand down. No response. Shield holding. No damage. Face of padding gamma. Return fire. Disabling only. Padding gamma, aye. Firing phases. Vessel disabled. Stand down to yellow alert. Prepare a boarding party. Let's see who they are. Commendable. That's one word for it. Scan the colony. Scanning. That can't be good. On screen. Get all the data you can. Something tells me we're gonna need it. It is a conspiracy. That's your answer to everything. A fact. Starfleet does not want us out here. Fact. Starfleet engages in genocide whenever the virtues which it claims to adhere. Those are just... <sighs> rumours. <sighs> They're not rumours. They sold out their own people to the Cardassians. Starfleet are far from perfect, but I have a hard time believing they would go this far. This happened just after we took over control of system defence. You think that's a coincidence? And let's not forget the convenient way they managed to destroy nearly a third of our supplies. Starfleet didn't want us out here, and they could have found much easier ways to do it. Ah, but this way, there's going to be no questions asked when the survivors limp back with the sad tale of our demise. We don't have time for this. I need you to focus, not arguing about conspiracy theories. Where do we stand? Still no luck getting anything back online. We've rigged up some solar panels, but we can't get any energy out of them. Why not? We're not sure. There aren't any mechanical problems, so we're assuming something's simply dampening our power sources. But without tricorders, we can't be certain of anything. We could set up some old-fashioned batteries. If it is a dampening field, it might not work against chemical energy sources. Give it a try. I take it there's still no word from the other ships? No, but we can be pretty certain they're in the same shape as the rest of us. Then we need to work fast. Quick, requisition whatever and whoever you need. I want... Governor, stay there, Rick. Stop it, I told you. Sensors have identified a geolytic field. It's damping any artificial power source within a 50,000 kilometre radius of the planet. What's causing it? We don't know yet, but the entire convoy was caught in that orbit. A dead in space. Fortunately, we're surveying the asteroid belt. Any chance this thing's a natural phenomenon? If so, it's one hell of a coincidence. It doesn't seem likely. I've run several scans of the planet already, but there's no apparent sign of anything, natural or otherwise, that could be generating field. Which would suggest that somebody doesn't want us to find it. Whatever the origin, we need to get those people out of there before they freeze to death. <sighs> Is there any chance we could take the ship in? The Commodore and Commander Garvin are working on that possibility now, but realistically we're talking about several hours of engineering. We don't have that much time. What about transporters? We could extend the range, but not for long at that kind of power level. At best, we could get a dozen people before the system fried. 
totally less. So that's not an option either. Have we learned anything from that alien scout? Cadence Kerzo is still surveying the debris, but nothing useful in us so far. Information on this region is extremely limited. I'd recommend we focus on the problem at hand and worry about identifying our adversaries later. I agree. We need to find the source of that geonetic field or disable it. That may not be so easy, sir. Assuming we can even find it. Do we have the time? Right now, it looks like our only shot. Concentrate your efforts on the search, Henson. And let's hope we get lucky. There's not much left. No. Whoever these people may be, they are most efficient. Kindred spirits? Hardly. I find it ironic that the culture it claims to embrace diversity so readily assumes that all Romulans are cut from the same cloth. You mean you're not? Romulan culture is no less diverse than yours. A pity so few in the Federation truly appreciate that. But at least we try. I wonder how many Romulans would try to comprehend my people. More than you might believe. Really? Have you? Then thanks. So. You are making fun of me. Who, me? Hang on. That's interesting. Indeed, this may be of use. Kate Hunter. I think we've got something. It's here, somewhere within a two kilometre radius of the colony site. You can't be more precise. No. Something down there is interfering with sensors as well. There's no way of getting an exact location without going down there and physically searching. What about the survey teams? There's no sign of them. Possibly due to the interference. But I was able to detect intermittent weapons fire. Ours? No. What about the status of the convoy? The orbit's stable, but they're still without power. We need to disable that geomagnetic field and we need to do it soon. We know roughly where the field's been generated. <laughs> We're still at weapon range. We should sweep the entire area with phasers. And what about the survey teams? You think they're still alive? I don't know. But if they are, our priority should be the convoy. There were a thousand people in those ships. They'll be dead within an hour if we don't act. Ensign, is there any way we can cut through that Fine, an hour. We have our survivors on the surface. We're not in much position to help them. Maybe we are. Just not from up here. She's right. If the only way to pinpoint this thing is to get down there and physically search for it, then that's exactly what we'll do. You want us to go sightseeing? Yeah, pretty much. Bridge to engineering. A little busy down here, sir. What do you need? I want you to boost transporter range enough to send an away team to the planet. I can do that. But you realize you'll only get a single cycle before the entire system blows out. Single cycle's all I'll need. How long? Ten minutes, give or take. You're not going to make a habit of breaking my ship, are you? No promises, Chief. Let me know when you're ready. This is a bad idea. We don't even know when it was alive down there. And you want to put more people in harm's way. The bar does. 40 minutes. That's all I'm asking. This is a bad time to start playing the hero. That's not what I'm doing. No? So this isn't about you just trying to prove a point. your call, Aaron. This is a lonely trip. If you cannot do this, we'll have to use the phase of anyway, whether you're down there or not. Very well for you to you. On my way. Commodore, I strongly urge you to reconsider. I do not like this any more than you do, Navarre, but those people deserve a chance. I hope you're right, but you'll understand if I lodge my objections. Your prerogative, Commander. If you'll excuse me. Styles, give me a more time to suspect of the focus. They're right behind us. Is this thing going to work? Absolutely. That's what you said the last time. 
Well, I'm allowed to be wrong once. You've been keeping score? Maybe he does. Gita, she runs the betting pool. Why would she... Well, if I were you, I wouldn't bet against me this time. It is. I get to hate you. Wait a minute. You won't go over me back. The Voyax is the nearest ship, but even at high warp, she's still weeks away. There is little point in diverting Captain Andrew from his present mission. Whatever happens here, it would be over long before he arrived. Agreed. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm afraid you're on your own. Get of the job, Admiral. No apology necessary. You know, you should review those sealed orders. Perhaps there's something useful in there. Sealed orders? I do Ah, forgive me. I must be thinking of another officer. Of course, sir. It's a mistake to make. Yes. It must be my age. Terrible thing, senility. Well, good luck, Commodore. Tyler out. You should not be leading this mission. Well, why should everyone else have all the fun? I believe Captain Tal made a similar point shortly before she died. I'm not Tala. No, you're not. But you are acting captain. Starfleet regulations are quite specific. Regulations? I'm a Romulan commander. My people are creatures of duty. We believe rules exist to be followed. Your father was human, wasn't he? Consider this an opportunity to become better acquainted with your less dutiful bad blood. I do not consider my human ancestry to be bad blood. I was joking, Sakaris. It's a human thing. I am quite familiar with humour. I am not a Vulcan, nor do I require the services of a dictionary in humanity. Sir. Get your gear together. Report to the transporter room. Commander. What they're doing is dangerous. I did explain that. But there's only so much I can say. Perhaps if I could explain that. You know we can't, Jason. They chose their path and we can't change that. For now, all we can do is watch and wait. I know. But that doesn't make my job any easier. I'm afraid that's the price we pay. So others don't have to. I have to go. Contact me again when you get the chance. Enter! Commodore Prentiss! Can I help you with something? Therein lies the question, doesn't it? What is it you want, Commodore? What does anyone want? Insight, wisdom, the meaning of life, perhaps? You'll we'll have to be a little more specific. Philosophy was never my strong suit. Very well, I'll cut to the chase then. We both know you're acting under sealed orders. If you know anything that can help us. There's nothing you need to know. Interesting choice of words. You'll learn to be precise in my line of work. Bridge to Commodore Prentice. Go ahead. The summons have asked me to tell you. We're ready. Understood. I'm on my way. Command on the bar. Commodore Prentice? There is more to duty than to the command. Please try to remember that. Computer? Open all files related to the Surai. Searching. Unable to comply. No such files exist. Authorization. Navar Kappa 732. Resubmit search. Working. Level red authorization confirmed. Access to files granted. You sure these will work? Yes, but only at the higher settings. Mm. Oh well. Guess it won't be stunning anyone then. What about the explosives? Quantum microcharges. It should be most effective. Alright. Let's go. Just try to remember this is not a field trip. Be careful, all of you. I'm always careful. What about the time you called the Romulan envoy? Dumber than the Klingon village idiot? In front of the Klingon delegate. Energize.
Here's secure. No sign of any defences. None at all. I find that disconcerting. Yeah. Maybe they weren't expecting any trouble. I would have. Maybe they don't think like you. Then that would suggest they are fooled. And a fool would not have succeeded thus far. Is it split up? Alright, two teams. Zakaris, you're with me. Standard search pattern, people. And watch your backs. Report. The away team are down safely. Engineering are still trying to modify our primary systems, but the chief thinks it'll take at least another hour. Reporting for duty. I think you have in hand. With all due respect, you need every hand you can get. I was tactic officer on the Endeavour for four years. But didn't you just object to this course of action? I'm still a staffy officer. Under the circumstances, I thought my presence would be helpful. My commander, do you have to take the things of conscience? I'm afraid that's classified. This is authority can get worse. Man the tactical console, Mr. Navarre. I don't like this. There's two of us. Sakaris was right. I can't believe whoever built this thing didn't need defences. You're becoming quite the pessimist. For a pragmatist. Hold on. I think we found it. Don't think, be sure. It's an active power source in the middle of nowhere. It seems a fair bit to me. Okay, let's check this out. Too easy. No, you're not a pessimist. Enter orbit in 22 minutes. Get me, Hunter. What are you through now? Problem? You could say that. We've got company. You've got 15 minutes, not one second more. Clear? Crystal. Hunter out. Commodore. I don't want to hear it, Mr. Navarre. With all due respect, if they don't destroy that generator soon, we'll lose the entire convoy. You're gambling over a thousand lives on one away team. In that case, Mr. Navarre, you better put my locks in. Red alert. All hands, battle stations. There is a clear danger, and any help is weeks away. Even if we were successful today, it is unlikely we could protect this world from a concerted attack. But these people are Federation citizens. We have a duty to protect them. I am not certain. They want our protection. I'm sure there's a few Romulan protectorates who feel exactly the same way. Hardly. Romulan citizens would never question the wisdom of the state. Of course. How foolish of me to think otherwise. You are many things, Commander, but a fool is not one of them. Self-indulgent, reckless perhaps, but not a fool. Lasers down! Man, what the hell are you doing? Anything I have to. Hold your fire! We're Starfleet, you idiot! Come to finish the job, have you? Get that dumb thing down. I will, once you're under guard. Red light on the starboard ventilator array. Run a bypass in the port array instead. This is ill-advised. I'm open to suggestions, Commander. We do not want to be here when no ships arrive. We'll wait until I say otherwise. <sighs> Commodore! Mr. Navarre, I do not give a damn who you're working for. You are not in charge here, so either follow my orders or get off the bridge. As you wish, sir. Why are they still shooting? Perhaps they don't like you. Do you mean us? Ah, oh, forget I asked. Rick, this is insane. You know what I'm doing? Look like it from here. Just keep your head down, okay? Choice. Keep the hunter. Go ahead. We're taking fire. The artist we hit. We found the generator, but we can't reach it. Stand by. We don't have time for this. You've got one minute to surrender! They have a working phaser. Thank you, Sakaris. I had noticed. 
I was simply suggesting that they know something that we don't. Maybe. But that works both ways. Keep him talking. Exactly how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Talk to him. Tell him a joke. You're familiar with humour, aren't you? It's about heading 229 Mark 43. Commodore, are you familiar with Garth's Gambit? Of course, but I don't think anyone's tried to Savaxa now. Why? Don't tell me. I don't need to know. Call it a... Call it a hunch, if you like. And for a penny, I suppose. Make the preparations, Mr. Man. This is your last chance! Put down your weapons! All they was in tie rock face! You with it! Dr. Garen, you are being irrational! The Klingons, they have a saying! Only a fool fights in a burning house! Well, quite possibly the only piece of wisdom Klingon culture has ever produced, it is nevertheless wisdom you may wish to consider! Drop it! I'm not telling you twice! I'm not making it easy for you! Yeah, maybe you should listen. You know we can't trust them! So this is your life. What about everyone else? What about your brother? You're right. You'll do. We can talk on route. We're not Starfleet. You want our help? Start talking. In less than 13 minutes, and Shepard will have no choice but to bombard this area from orbit. We have precisely that long to provide an alternative. After you. Give me your favour. Why would I do that? Would you like it to work or not? It doesn't. Ventral array still down. Next engineering. Hi there, sir. Who's that Ventral array in, sir? One of the plasma relays blew out when we rammed up power to the tactical array. We'll have it back online in a minute. I'll hold you that, Mr. Bridge out. Commodore, you should see this. Great, there are they. Warn them off. No response. They're scanning us. Ventral array is coming online. Rubbing fire! Shield holding! Hostile stairs. Approaching position Alpha. No! That's your cue, Navarre. Yes, sir. Lieutenant. 
Field stone. Be friend, all vessels are coming online. Commodore. Guess he didn't want to fight. Should I lay on a pursuit course? I wouldn't advise it. Sir? No, plot the course and stand out from the middle there. We'll save this one for another day. The telemetry's coming in now. The scans match those recorded by the Entente in 2272. It's definitely the Sarai. Now, they don't quite look so tough when they're running away like that. Sarai are scavengers. They prefer their prey to be more... manageable. Yeah, Bish, it sounds like the Borg to me, huh? And like the Borg, they're persistent. This is just a reprieve, nothing more. Transmit our data to the Director, Tom. He'll need to know. Anyway. The Arizona's gonna be laid up at 592 for about a week. It's a pity you're not in dock. There's this new Bolian restaurant I wanna try and you know how much Catching up on your mail? Uh-huh. Old friend? Is there any other trick? Not for you, apparently. So, have you made your mind up? Yeah. Coffee and croissant. Care to join me? I was talking about the promotion. My mistake. Some might call it evasion. What, are you bucking for counselor now? Not after what you did to the last one. What happened to the captain wasn't your fault. I was in command. It was my call, my responsibility. For what? Doing your job? It's not that simple. Yes, it is. You had the choice to make and you made it. Right or wrong, you did exactly what a naked staff officer would have done that day. You know, right. Think it over. You're right. It is a transport. It's like a pretender. You're saying a good job of it. You hadn't you wouldn't be standing here talking about it. Well, as soon as we are here, we'll have to find out what really happened. Stuff it looked into it. We didn't find anything suspicious. No, no. Look, I'll grant you. Prentice and his drones may have helped us. They're not all known. They may have missed something. And I do not believe this is just an accident. Alright. Start mapping with the vehicle. See if you find anything useful. No, it's working. I'm sorry I'm late. That's the actual phaser carried by Garavik when he confronted Chang on Andoria. I see. It took me years to track down. Really? Hmm. I believe there's a dealer in the Triangle who's offering a case of six for ten strips of iron. Uh-huh. About your request. Under the circumstances, I thought it for the best. <sighs> if by that you mean we haven't had our last discussion, I'd probably have to agree. Then you're approving my transfer? No. Perhaps I misunderstood you. I thought you said that- I know. I know. You're a good officer. This ship needs good officers. Especially the kind that keep me on my toes. Then I will withdraw my request. If I may. A question? Sure. On your toes? It's a human ex- <sighs> Actually, a friend of mine once suggested it was the definition of a first officer. I'm beginning to think she was right. Sir? It's not important. I see. If there's nothing else? No. And thank you, Mr. Sakaris. Commander. <laughs>